Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 2620. Without wood, a fire goes out. Without a gossip, a quarrel dies down. Wow. Wouldn't it be awesome to remove the gossip throughout our workplaces, our churches, <laughs> our home life? Can you imagine what could happen? It says, according to this passage, if the if the gossip is pulled out, there will be no, there were, the quarrels will die down. Just like if you take the wood out of the fire, there would no longer be fire. Now it's, it's interesting that gossip is a source of corp that brings the, brings the fuel for what? For quarreling. And if it's, there's so much motive behind those who gossip that I can't even begin to discuss it, but you know your motive. I know my motive when I'm tempted to gossip. And it seems like that the number one motive for most gossip is I'm going to make myself look better by talking about someone else. It's not necessarily, I've heard people say, well, I just have to get things out because, you know, I'm, it's and so break rooms are used for that, that I've got to talk this through. No, it's not necessarily true. Most gossip centers around you, yourself, you're the center of it. And, and so it's, it's pulling this, it, it shows you, it shows me our own insecurities. Every time gossip happens, there's something in me or in you that is insecure. And so think about that. Think about that. Think and, and think that just because somebody is gossiping, they say, you know, I'm, I'm just sharing this with you. Chances are, if they're talking about somebody else, they're talking about you. And man, that's a good old wise saying. My, you know, you've heard probably your mother even say that one, that if somebody's talking about someone to you, they're probably talking about, that's so true. And we have a 14 year old daughter that we have to go through this exercise all the time because it just, but you know, we're a little bit older than 14 years. There's no excuse for people who are faith leaders to be, to be gossiping, to be sharing information about other people that simply isn't true or that you've been entrusted with or that you simply don't talk about other people. You're not expressing your feelings and your, your thoughts about other people. Really, who are you and me to be sharing that anyway? <laughs> because it, it, it centers around something in us that's lacking. So faith leaders, let us, if you have a tendency to gossip, Ask yourself, why? And then find the core of why you, why you are not loving yourself enough, not allowing the love of Christ in you enough where you have to talk about other people. Allow his love to permeate through you and love yourself. And